if you get shot with my gun, with my stolen gun in Atlanta, you know, my bad. You know, come to Atlanta for spring break, come back out. My truck's broken into. Uh, John, his truck is broken into. Uh, I'm, one, I'm one less pistol and they left my MacBook and $200 flashlight. Left my kid's tablet, left my son's switch, left little petty cash I had, and they took everything else. So, you know, good old Atlanta. You know, breaking my window. Good way to start off the trip, I suppose. Let's see if I can get my window fixed. So I don't have to be riding around with cardboard and, and tape. Oh, can, can y'all hear that glass falling through the door? Try to get my window fixed, I have to run around with cardboard and tape next to my daughter's face. So yeah, you know, good times. All right, so I got trifold poster board, cut this back. I got some duct tape and a plastic bag. So let's get to making a temporary window because this is not getting fixed until you six more days when we get back home because safe flight doesn't have any openings here in georgia and here we go and it seems to be pretty solid we'll see how it holds up so but i think it's going to hold up so we'll see got some more black duct tape fully duct taped it and it is a lot quieter now so what is this day three of not having my truck broken into all right, made it back home. Battery's dead on the charger, losing my voice. Uh, it held up about 80 miles before we got to the house. Uh, it started coming up, but it's still holding solid. So I will say that my contraption, ooh, my hands are ashy. My contraption worked for what it is. Uh, it is, what time is it? It is 6.46. It'll be dark in 45 minutes. So I'm going to try to get this off, get this residue clean out, cleaned off, get the door panel off. I'll probably pull the speaker out and try to vacuum all the glass and stuff out. Because quite frankly, I just, I don't trust Safe Light to get all the glass. And it's probably not their job to get all the glass either. So I'm going to just take care of that for them. Yeah, I'll be back after Safe Light replaces my glass and then... You know, that'll be the end of this uh, video here. So my thing to you all is get a little gun safe and put your gun in it. You know, if you're going somewhere that has metal detectors and you can't keep it on your person, lock it up in your gun safe and, you know, just be careful for yourself. And if you your stuff get broken into, you ain't got to worry about it being out in the street. Um, I will say that the responding officer that filed my report was crappy. He could have cared less about the fact that my truck got broken into and that a gun was stolen. And he definitely could have cared less that the truck beside me got broken into. And he also had a gun as well that was stolen. Uh, he took down my information wrong. His supervisor had to call me and ask me some questions about the report because it didn't make any sense to her so you know then she said she was gonna go back and look at the body cam footage he said that he fingerprinted my truck and found no fingerprints there's not fingerprint dust within 10 miles of my truck he didn't buzz out a fingerprint kit he came and was gone in five minutes he had my name on the report as darius greensboro come on now so the note to take away is if you're somewhere where you cannot keep your gun on your person best case scenario you have like a little lock box that is secured put it in there uh if you don't have a lock box that's secured don't put it in your glove box don't put it in your center console um your best luck might be to stuff it in a crevice somewhere where they can't easily get to it 
you know if you have a car you could hide it somewhere in the trunk um if you have an suv those there's multiple compartments to where you can hide it but they always go for the glove box the visors and the center console is always the main three places um uh, that they look for stuff and unfortunately mine was on the top of the center console so he got my bodyguard acp 380 and he got my extra mag and the bodyguard 380 80 had a crimson trace laser guard laser which was 250 dollars so you know i love that little gun and i need to figure out if i'm just gonna rock my g2c and my mmp shield 9 or if i'm going to go and get me another little super compact pistol so but i did pick up a psa ar9 and i almost brought it with me and i'm glad i didn't because i would have been upset if that would have got stolen too like i said buddy left my son's switch he left my macbook my book bag was actually outside on the ground so i just knew my macbook was gone but it was still in there uh, I had about $100 in cash. He left that. He or she left that. Um, he left my daughter's iPad, my son's Switch. He left my MacBook. He left my $200 Mag Light rechargeable flashlight. He left my knife. He left the cash. So it sounds like they were just looking for probably weapons and drugs is what they were looking for. And they saw my truck, and I guess he figured, hey, these back windows are dark as hell. He got some back here to hide and took his chances and ended up with uh, my pistol. So y'all be safe wherever y'all go. Uh, I was never a fan of Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm no more, no less of a fan of Atlanta, of Atlanta Georgia now. Uh, but I do know next time that I go, I will not have the roof box on the truck. That way I can fit into the parking deck. So that was my issue. I had a roof box on the truck. Most parking decks are 7'6. My roof box was 7'3. Uh, the Coca Cola, no, the aquarium had no more oversized parking. And then Coca Cola's height was 7'2, which I was like an inch, two inches too tall for that. Oh, it was seven foot. Something weird. Normally it's 7'6 and 8'2. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much all it is, you know. Take it on chin, charge to the game. If you get shot with my gun, with my stolen gun in Atlanta, you know, my bad. But, you know, it just is what it is, you know. There's two more guns on the street of Atlanta, Georgia. So, if you have a gun, be responsible have a have a place that's secured and then put it there because your shit get broken into and potentially get stolen so i feel bad uh i feel worse that my gun can now potentially be a part of a crime but they have the serial number to the gun so if they do find it they know it's stolen i doubt that i ever get it back which sucks, but you know, it just kind of is what it is. So don't be stupid, be as smart as possible and take my lesson as a chin check and, you know, don't use it as an excuse, you know, your situation. So if you're a gun owner, second amendment, two way all day, be responsible with shit. Don't end up like me. All right. Peace.